Hey guys, welcome back to Expose Tuesday. Today I'm going to talk to you about a module that helps us customize some functionalities within the Google Play Music application. Let's check it out. First thing we want to do obviously is download and install the actual module itself. So we're going to go into the Expose installer. Oop, went to the Gron actual Expose module. We'll go back, Expose installer next to it. And we're going to look for a module called you know, sorry, let me bring it up. It's X, uh, sorry, Expose Google Play Music, so XGPM. And essentially all this is is giving you the ability to customize certain things within the Google Play Music app on your device. You need to obviously check the box, restart the device, make sure it's working. I'm testing it on the Note 4 here, mostly because my Nexus 6 is being upgraded to 5.1 right now and I don't have Expose fully installed on that. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. The main interface that you get here is the first four things are the ability to hide some shortcuts within the Google Play Music when you first launch it. So we'll go ahead and open up Google Play right now. And those options are generally inherited right here on the bottom, the help, the setting. If you don't have all access, you don't have the ability of basically getting, you know, obviously you'll have shop or get unlimited music. Um, I do, so that's one of those things why I don't need to have any problems with it. So we'll go ahead and re switch back. And we'll go back to the actual module itself. The next four things are the options that really make this application or this module shine. Adding the equalizer shortcut to the actual play music, I, I cannot count how many times any time I wanted to go in and change some EQ settings within my player. And I noticed that I'm basically having to get out, go back into the settings page. And I'm going to show you guys real quick before we switch back and, I'll, and we'll show again what's the modifications. The EQ currently is set under settings. So you have to actually go under settings to get the EQ. There is no other way within Google Play Music right now when you're playing than to get that. Now this already, I have this checked on, that's why you see it up there, but essentially that function was not there, or wasn't present before. So those are the things that you get there. And the other thing I wanted to show you guys real quick is, and because they're visually popping on that side, uh, is the resizing of the album art and then tinting icons. When you're playing normal music within Google Play, Google takes its own liberty of resizing the actual um, cover art. And you'll notice here there's a little bit of a tinting it behind the player, and it doesn't really fit the screen exactly. And when you're playing music, the colors stay pretty much the same. It's an orange uh, theme kind of going on, so we'll stop that here. And you just don't have the ability of customizing that. This module has a nice functionality that tries to make it a little bit more customizable. So we're going to go ahead and resize the actual album art, so we'll look at that again. And then we're also going to tint the color of the actual icons on the player. Once we do this, we'll actually just go home, and we need to actually close out of Google Play. So we need to actually close the application because it needs to kind of restart itself. So once we do this, we'll go back into the application. We're going to open up the same song. You'll notice there's no more tint at the bottom. The actual art has been shrunk and made it fit exactly within the actual screen, which is what you would like. The EQ is still there, but the color now has changed to slightly more of a reddish purplish tint to match some of the tones within the actual screen or the actual album art. So it becomes a little bit more customizable in that sense. It looks nicer, it's much more unique and then you can customize it. And again, as I mentioned, you can actually, you can always hide the other options in there. And I'm sure there'll be more options in the future to customize this very useful application, especially if you have all access. But from what you saw with the installation and the actual setup of the application itself, it's pretty simple from the interface. It gives you really few little uh, options to be able to customize within the Google Play Music right now, but I anticipate having more options in the future. But the few that it gives you, I think, make it unique. The tinting in the icon is nice and really functional. The resizing of the actual art, I always found it to be frustrating because sometimes, you know, there's a lot of good art on a lot of albums and then you don't get a chance to see most of it because our, the name of the uh, the actual song on those because what they'll do is they'll put the name on the bottom to keep the art popping but then you lose that with the actual application or the player. I do apologize for the voice I'm getting over a little cold so I hopefully you guys can still hear me but the other thing that I really like about this is the access to the EQ. The equalizer within the application, within Google Play at least, has been one of the most frustrating things to get into within anything else because it's always sitting under settings which made no sense to me because when you're playing music, that's when you need access to this. And the only way to get there is to get out of the actual song, go back into the menu, and then go settings, and then open the EQ. And even then, it's kind of a frustrating process. So I'm happy and I'm very glad that I was able to find this module. Hope you guys find this functional and useful for you if you use Google Play Music. As usual, like and subscribe to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys soon.